Let's take a look at the simple Arduino sketch. Only the WeChuck library needs to be included. Setup just initializes the WeChuck. Within the main loop, the WeChuck X value, declared as a word value, gets stored in the shared internal RAM at location 0. The next line stores the Z button state at location 3. If you check the library, you'll see that Amulet includes a board package for the 7-inch capacitive display module. Compile the sketch and upload it to the display module. You can see the progress of the compilation. And the Arduino portion is now complete. Let's move on to the graphical side looking at Gem Studio Pro. This breakout game is included as a tutorial with Gem Studio. Looking at the page function, you'll see the entire Gem script code for breakout. Scrolling down to the move paddle function, the paddle position gets assigned the word value at location 0 within the internal RAM. Remember that the Arduino sketch assigned this internal RAM location with the WeChuck X value. All that's left is to program the display module. There will be a message on the screen telling you it's being programmed. And here is the functional breakout game loaded onto the display. The WeChuck X value is changed by rotating the controller.